check the mic and make sure it sound right boy. All right. So I've got this uh, MacBook Air 13 and I was asked if I can replace the battery that was bloated and I had no idea how bloated it really was. Can you look at that? This would have to be the most bloated battery in a MacBook I've ever seen. If you can see in the video there, but look at that! It's really bloated. I'm surprised this thing's still working. Anyway, what we do is uh, let's unscrew it and see if we can replace it. Put this uh, replacement battery here. Should be quite straightforward, especially since everything's working already. And um, let's see. Yeah, I, I've never seen anything like this, so I'm so surprised it's working. Oh, look at that. Actually, made a big noise there. All that tension just being released like that. Well. Uh, we'll pop again. So, when I undo electronics like this, and there's different screws, sometimes the screws are, are different sizes, so I lay them out in a logical manner on my workbench in order of which I take them out. So, hopefully, I'll be able to put them back in the same order when everything's done. See, this one here is uh, longer than the others, so that will be holding up the, the screen, I bet. And, uh, yikes, look at that. <laughs> I, I just don't know how this laptop was working, really. to counter the pressure here. Oh, hello kitty cat. You helping? Can you help replace the battery in the laptop? Can you do that? Or are you just gonna mess my screws up? And knock them all out of order. Last one, to put some more pressure on the other side because I don't actually want to wreck the case either. Yes, kitty cat. Hey, don't knock my screws. Don't sit on them either. Come on. Come on, let's, let's put the cat over there. Hey, don't bring the other friend up. Oh my god. This is just crazy. No, 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 I don't want you getting... Look at that. You can see here. Look at that, how bloated those battery cells are. I've never seen anything like that. Anyway, let's um, get them out and give this a bit of a clean and put it all back together and I think it'll be fine. And with all these Mac devices, you've got to be very careful when you pull them apart because I like to say they set little traps everywhere. If you don't get things out in the right order and if you're not so you know, gentle, gentle, delicate, you might rip out a ribbon cable that's screwed down onto the main board or something and then the whole thing's uh, useless. So they're very straightforward. Same with iPhones, they're very straightforward. Just, uh, you've got to be patient. It's funny. The kitty cats, they 
sleep all day and when I'm doing something they come out and they're like hey what are you doing what are you doing can we help hmm? can we help you said the bushy cat of course you can help you're being a great help just by walking over all my work stuff The other thing with Max is the screws are all different um, sizes also and uh, you've got to be very careful not to um, strip the thread. It's like this one here is a different size. So let's try it. from another pack so when you order new batteries and things they generally come with um, tools that will fit the device and most of the time they're okay but sometimes the quality for these tools are not so good so here's other puss puss and you can see I this puss puss <laughs> likes to be patted <laughs> Don't you puss puss. <laughs> Come on, pat the kitty cat. <laughs> pat the kitty cat. Yeah. Come I'm on, he's a friendly kitty cat. It's going to pounce on me. <laughs> pat the kitty cat. Ooh, I got it. I, I, I touched his head. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pat you. I want to pat you. Back to fixing uh, this. Ow. So, that's that. Look at the cells. So bloated. And um, usually, what they do with these MacBooks is they glue the battery pack down to the main board and you have to ply it off very, very gently. But this one's not glued down, it's just sitting there, which is um, quite nice. This will be a, an easy swap. Alright, so it's a bit closer now. And, um,. What I need is a prying tool. Sometimes you can just do it like that, but I've got a prying tool somewhere. This happened last time I couldn't find my little pliers, so I had to use these guys and this prying tool here. So Just pops off and that up. A new one. Take the plastic off. That's it, you can see the difference. That's the old one. Oh, sorry, that's the new one. And it's the old one. It's like rotten eggs. You know, when eggs go rotten, they bloat and then they explode. So these uh, MacBook Airs are actually pretty well put together and constructed. So that's uh, the CPU a fan there and that's a bit of the cooling pipe going along over there the random access memory this guy here is the I think it's the Wi-Fi adapter you can see there's uh, one antenna two antenna there this one here I'm not sure I think that's the the GPU and this is where the battery fits and the little circuitry for the trackpad there and that's about it they're very simple but uh, they're very effective one of these with a retina display is the bee's knees of laptops i reckon all right so let's give another little blow i'm just going to be very careful here that that 
goes on the correct way. There we go. Nice and firm. You can see that uh, it's actually the right model battery pack, which is nice. Sometimes they send the wrong one out or they don't quite fit, but this one's actually really, really, really good. There we get our little screwdrivers. Put my glasses on. And uh, so because I laid the screws out in the order that I took them out, I just have to put them in the same order. So that's quite handy. This would have to be the easiest Apple device I've ever worked on. Yeah, the hardest thing with Macs, MacBooks, is the batteries and how they glue them to the the main board and uh, thankfully this one didn't have it now whether that's a design with the MacBook Air or maybe this battery's been replaced before I'm not sure but I wish they wouldn't do it in new devices because it makes it really hard to fix iPhones are the worst iPads are bad also Usually what I do is, uh, before I put it all back together, I'll just turn it on and uh, make sure it works. I mean, there's always the chance that the battery's not charged, which could be here. Yeah, so it's not turning on there. I just think that that's because uh, it's not charged, this battery. Yeah, see? The screen's on and you can see there that it's got the charging icon. So I think this is a goer. It's a goer, mate. Let's finish it. Mm. a bit dirty I might go give this a proper scrub all right so that's nice and clean put that back on now no more bulging then we screw everything back together where the battery is bloated like that and the case is all bent they actually go back to shape pretty well so they look normal again. There we have it. Just make sure they're tight because sometimes they come loose. Not too tight, just twist tight. Yeah, it works. Yay. And the keyboard is flat again. Look at that. All done.